Oh, Nurse Grendel. Oh, oui, monsieur. Is this Ward J2? It is, but uh, you're not supposed to be here. We have strict rules about visiting hours. Can't you make an exception? I've come all the way from California. You must speak to the doctor. I can't wait that long. What if he snuffs it? You can't talk like that here. This is a hospital. You will have to leave. So we need to dress up like a doctor. Which means getting in the cupboards. As I tugged the plug out of the socket, the polishing machine coughed, spluttered, and died. Great. Mr. Shiny, what's wrong, pal? Get ready to do some thievery. We shouldn't have waited that long. Perfect. Now we can sneak around. Don't just stand there, keep... Keep going. Good afternoon, Doctor. The patients are ready for your inspection, Doctor. Uh, thank you, Nurse. You'll need this, Doctor. A stethoscope. She gave me a long, narrow metal box and a stunning smile. Thanks. Uh, could you take a look at the client in bed number three now? His name is Eric Sopmarsh. Do you have a patient named Marquet on this ward? Oh, oui, monsieur. He is in the private room at the end of the ward. He has been placed in strict isolation. Why? Why is Marquet in quarantine? If you wish to know more, you'll have to speak to Herr Hagenmeier. All I know is that Marquet's room is strictly out of bounds. Thank Great. you, nurse. Au revoir, monsieur. Hello, Mr. Eric. Hello, anybody home? Who are you? My name is Dr. Stobart, and I'm here to steer you down the rocky road to recovery. Dr. Monroe said there was no cure for what I've got. Your problem is you stayed in bed too long. Are you sure you're a what? qualified doctor? You better believe it. I'm going to take your blood pressure. Why? I'm a doctor. It's my job. Seems fine to me. You're not doing it right. What's your impression of Nurse Grendel? She's a very efficient young woman. Efficient? You make her sound like a vacuum cleaner. I've no complaints. What can you tell me about Marquet? He's the man in the private room, isn't he? That room was mine before I was tossed out like a common squatter. Mm, Do you know what's wrong with Marquet? They won't even say what's wrong with me. Tell me, Doctor, what's your opinion? Uh, it's too early to say. But I've been here for three months. Oh, wow. That's not good. I'll come back later. Doctor! We've already tried this. What is it? You haven't taken my blood pressure. Pretty sure I did. You said I was doing it wrong. Seems fine to me. You're not doing it right. Of course I am. No, you're not. Dr. Monroe never did it like that. I can't take a satisfactory reading while you're excited like this. I'll come back later. Oh, he's going to stop me again, isn't he? Oh, Doctor. What now? You didn't finish taking my blood pressure. I'll use it to strangle you in a minute. Okay, let's try again.
You don't have the first idea what you're doing, do you? I'll come back when you've recovered your manners. Pardon me, nurse. Oui, monsieur. Guy's an asshole. What is this device? It's for taking the patient's blood pressure, <laughs> doctor. Is it clear Do you know I'm not who a paid for Marquet's room? No, of course I don't. Preferential treatment like that must cost an arm and a leg. That's not my concern, monsieur. Do you have any clowns on the ward? Why, yes, we do. A professional clown. I'll bet he lightens the place up. Hardly. Monsieur Boissy has been in a coma for the last three months. What's wrong with Boissy? He was involved in a very nasty accident. A silly stunt involving a unicycle. His current condition is due to post-traumatic shock. It's unlikely he'll ever perform as a clown again. It's an ill wind that blows nobody any good. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? No, I don't. Oh well, worth a try. Thank you, nurse. Au revoir, monsieur. Let's shake this guy's hand. He's earned it. Hi, it's me again. Hmm, maybe not. Maybe yes. The woman in reception described Nurse Grendel as a monster. Well, that's simply not true. She's quite strict, but that's her job, isn't it? You've got to have discipline in a place like this. You sure do. Do you recognize this red nose? Doesn't that belong to Boissy? No. I found it in a sewer. He's a clown, you know. You wouldn't think so to look at him now, would you? Which one is Boissy? Do you recognize the man in this photograph? No, Doctor. Uh, who is it? A cold-blooded killer. I'll come back later. He's not going to let me go. Me again. I'll come back later. You haven't finished taking uh. Will you keep quiet? You're disturbing the other patients. I'll keep quiet when you've taken my blood pressure properly. I have to see Jacques Marquet first. How come he gets preferential treatment? It's because he's got money, isn't it? I'll come back when you've dealt with that chip on your shoulder. He's not going to let us go, is he? You haven't finished taking my blood pressure. Oh, God, I'll strangle you with this thing. Will you keep quiet? You just... I'll keep quiet. I have... It's... I'll come back... Smother the guy in his sleep. Pardon me, nurse. Oui, monsieur. How do I use this thing? Thank you, nurse. Au revoir, monsieur. Hi, it's me again. We can't do it. Have you heard of a guy called Merlin? No, Doctor. Have you ever heard of the Club Alamut? I'm not really a nightclub man, Doctor. Can I smother you with plaster? Do you know Paris? what this is? It looks like plaster. Does this gem mean anything to you? No, Doctor. Uh, I'll come back later. I have an idea. No, that's not what I clicked on.
Hi, my name's George Stobart. Yes, sir? Pleased to meet you, sir. Call me George if you like. Are you sure? Yeah, that's my name. My name's Benoit, but everyone calls me Benny. Bunny? That's right. I used to have this cute habit when I was a kid. Uh, keep it to yourself, Benoit. Here, take this pressure gauge. Thank you, sir. Uh, what do you want me to do with it? Well, uh, keep it safe until I think of something. Oh, give me back, then. Do you know anything about a patient named Marquet? Uh, no, sir, I don't know much about any of the patients. I've never met a doctor who admits that he's only human. Uh, I'm only a trainee, sir. I'm sure I'll get the hang of things. Do you know the nurse on Ward J2? No, monsieur. This is my first day here. I can't wait to get my hands dirty. I was talking about treating my first patient, of course. I didn't mean to get my hands dirty with a nurse. Shut up, Benoit. Okay, sir. <laughs> uh. Shake my hand, Benoit. I don't think that's a good idea, sir. How come? Dermatitis. Well, I don't have dermatitis. I do. Great. See you later. Right. Excuse me, sir. Aha! Just the man. You must be the new boy. Uh, yeah, I must be. Well, uh, stop wandering about and make yourself useful. Bunny, come here, boy. This is Benoit, my nephew. Can I trust you to look after him? Sure. He is fresh out of medical school. It will open his eyes to see a real doctor on the job. Real doctor. I'll bet. Show him around. Let him see some real suffering. I have just the guy. Is he with me? He is. Hi, it's me again. I'll come back later. Bunny, hey, take this yes, sir? guy's blood pressure. Do you still have that gauge I gave you? Ah, oh, yes. What do you want me to do with it? Use it on Eric Sopmarsh. Okay. We're figuring it out slowly. Keep that idiot quiet while I go and do stuff. Bonjour. I'm Dr. Stobart. Bonjour, doctor. Have you heard of a guy called Marquet? He's in quarantine, doc. Right behind this ear door. Marquet is just the man I wanted to see. I wouldn't go in there if I was you. He has anthrax. Really? I have to visit my patient. What for? Routine. I have to check he's still breathing. What if he's not? I'll sign the certificate and register his bed is vacant. That's a cold and distant attitude to death. Well, Did I've it? been institutionalized to the point of godlike aloofness. The white coat suits you. Thanks. Can Catch I go you later, in? officer. Au revoir, doc. I can go in. Oh wow, the guy looks rough. Marquet? Yes. I am Marquet. I've been expecting you. You have? Well, what are you waiting for? Get it over with. I just want to know what I should do with the gem. The Lachmar gem? Yeah, yes. right here in my pocket. I thought you were one of the assassin. <laughs> Not me. I never inhaled. So, you were sent in my place? Uh, yeah. You, you could hardly make the trip to Ireland in your condition. What should I do with the gem? Deliver it to the Grandmaster quickly. Tell him that I have found the tripod. 
right here in Paris. What, you have it? Not yet, but it's being taken care of. I hired a couple of stooges with a flair for petty crime. Would that be Flap and Guido by any chance? You know them as I do. for Klausner. Uh, he has gone off to Syria on a wild goose chase. They have geese in Syria? He, he uh, <laughs> has a theory about the location of the... That's enough excitement for one day, Monsieur Marquet. What are you doing here? Talking to this patient, of course. Monsieur Marquet is my patient. If Herr Hagenmeier was to hear that... Okay, I'm going. I'd learned all I could from Marquet anyhow. Oh, there you are, sir. I was just coming to look for you. I finished with your pressure gauge. Thanks, Thank Bonnie. You. What's that noise? It sounds as if someone's having a cardiac arrest. It's all right. The doctor's in there with him. Are you sure he was a doctor? Oui, monsieur. He showed me his ID. It was Dr. Breil. There's no Dr. Breil working here. He's an imposter! The door's locked. Help me, officer. Stand back, monsieur. Then the police spring into action. Back in Nico's apartment. Hello, Georges. I found Jacques Marquet. Did he talk? Yeah, he talked. For the very last time. He's dead? Yeah. Killed in cold blood by a bogus doctor. That's despicable. What kind of guy would pass himself off as a doctor and take advantage of a dying man? Was it Khan? No. I don't know who he was, but it certainly wasn't Khan. He got away, out the window. Have you ever heard of the Hashi Ashin? No. Marquet said that they were his biggest enemy. His biggest the enemy was the bogus doctor. The Don't Hashi remind Ashin. me. That guy was evil. He had wild, staring eyes like a dead fish. I'll never trust a doctor again. Do you think the assassin was responsible for killing Marquet? I don't think so. He could have finished him off the first time. Besides, Marquet would have recognized him. He was pumped to the gills with sedatives. He wouldn't have recognized the four horsemen of the apocalypse unless they'd introduced themselves. Hmm. No way. There's nothing I guess else. I'd better go back and talk to that weirdo. Which one? Rosso or Sergeant Mou? Oh, but you're referring to Andre. I'll let Andre. you work it out. Andre. We need to go and talk to Andre. If he's here. Haha. -ha. I beg your pardon. Are you Andre Lobino? That's me. You want my autograph? No. I was told you may be able to help me. Help? My name is George Stobart. I'd like your professional opinion. Well, okay. Shoot. Does the name Montfaucon mean anything to you? Sure. It was the most grisly spectacle in Paris until the revolution. A public toilet? Montfaucon was the place of execution for many thousands. A dark temple of death with row upon row of arches, each one framing a grim exhibit. Scores of rotting corpses swung on creaking rope while the crows devour their flesh. That Sinister explains form. the image of the hanged man. I found a reference to Montfaucon in Ireland, in a village called Lochmarn. Lochmarn? That's where Pigram was digging. That's right. He'd left the excavation before I arrived. Do you know Pigram well? Not really. I met him at a conference. I would have liked to talk to him in depth, but I didn't have time. When was this? Oh, uh, back in the summer, uh, July, I think. July. 
Have you ever heard of the Hashashin? Why, yes. It was a radical Muslim sect whose name became synonymous with murder. It was formed in 11th century Persia, shortly before the Crusades. At roughly the same time as the Templars? Yes. They gave a new word to our language. Assassini. The Assassin. I'd like your opinion on a medieval manuscript. Vraiment? Do you have it with you? No, it's too fragile. And besides, there are certain people who'd stop at nothing to get their hands on it. Intriguing. Uh, do you have a copy of the text? There isn't much. Only a few Latin phrases. I was kind of hoping you'd help decipher the pictures. Without seeing the manuscript, uh, that's a tall order. Just tell me one thing. What does the image of two men riding on the same horse suggest to you? The Knights Templar. Does the Templar seal appear on this manuscript? I'd love to see that for myself. I think you ought to know that the tripod is going to be stolen. The uh, Lochman tripod? No. It's true. I can give you a description of the thieves. Before the supposed event has taken place? I heard them planning the raid. They're wasting their time. The tripod is protected by a state-of-the-art alarm system. Well, don't say I didn't warn you. How do we get that tripod? Can you tell me anything about the Knights Templar? I sure can, Georgie. Soldiers, diplomats, mercenaries, monks, bankers, you name it, the Templars fit the bill. The greatest fighting force in Christendom, the Militia of Christ. Jeez. Why don't you loan the tripod to me for safekeeping? Because I'd never see it again. But don't you trust me? It's not a question of trust, George. That tripod is hundreds of years old and extremely fragile. I get your point. Where was the site of Montfaucon? To the northeast, near the Canal Saint-Martin. But there's nothing there now. The old gibbet was torn down during the Revolution. How did the Templars get their name? From the building in which they set up their headquarters. The King of Jerusalem gave them part of a mosque on the Temple Mount. It was said to have been the site of the original Temple of Solomon. The order became known first as the Knights of the Temple and later as the Knights Templar. You're a mine of information, André. Glad to be of help, Georgie. The manuscript is being looked after by a friend. In Paris? Yeah. Not far from here, in fact. Well, uh, just give me the address and I'll uh, come round and take a look. I'm not so sure about that. Maybe I should check with her first. A female friend? Yeah, she's a woman. This friend who has the manuscript? Ah, uh, oui, uh, the anonymous girlfriend. She lives at 361 Rue Jarry. Ah, I know it well. I'll drop by just as soon as I can. He knows it How well. come the Templars became so wealthy? There was a constant stream of new recruits to their ranks, many from noble families. They were required to swear a sacred oath of poverty, chastity, and obedience. So their money, goods, and lands were donated to the order. The Templars soon held land in France, Scotland, England, Spain, most of Europe, in fact. The poor Knights of Christ became the wealthiest power in Christendom. There's a few places there I think we need to How go. How did the assassins get their name? From the legends surrounding the secrets of their initiation rites. A young man who sought to join the sect was given hashish until he drifted into dreams. He awoke to find himself in a fabulous garden with everything he could wish for. The freshest water, the most delicious food, the choicest hash, and the most delectable women imaginable. Cool. Do you have the address? <laughs> I haven't finished the story. There was a price to pay for this taste of paradise. Wouldn't you just know it? The young man would wake the next day to find himself back in the real world. He was told that he'd been given a glimpse of a heaven reserved for holy martyrs. A heaven he would enjoy for eternity if he was willing to join the Hashashin. So there was something about ring How fingers. do the assassins operate? Well, as I explained, the new recruits would be only too willing to die for the cause. 
They'll be instructed in the use of the dagger, poisons, and disguise. Then, the Grand Master of the sect would name an enemy of Allah. And they'd stop at nothing to eliminate that enemy. You got it. They were fearless and deadly. Does the cult of the assassin still exist? Take a look around at the world today. You tell me. What do you make of this? It's the biggest gemstone I've ever seen. Where did you get it? From Professor Pegram's messenger boy. Did uh, Pegram find this on his dig? He yeah, did. the site where this was found was a Templar castle. Do you think it could be part of the Templar treasure? No, I shouldn't think so. You're not one of those crazies who think the Templars still exist, are you? Uh, well, I try to keep an open mind on the matter. Is it true the treasure of the Knights Templar was never found? Ah, uh, who knows? So little knowledge of what really happened remains. Oh, if it does, the truth has never been made public. What do you mean by that? The Templars have attained a mythological status, like the King Arthur of the Britons. There are people even now who say the Templars still exist. Do you think that's likely? No, not for a minute. I'd like to shake you by the hand, Andre. Not now, Georgie. Yeah. I think we're done. Does the guy in this photograph look familiar to you? No. Thanks for your help, Andre. You're welcome. I need a way to hide in there, but I don't know how. Pardon me. We miss you? Night school. Uh, no. Thanks for your help. Um, police station, I think she wanted. Sergeant Moo? Uh, yes. I'd like to report an assault. Yes, I, I out this. Could you just one look like their names? No. You don't get them this time, though, do you? I found this red nose in the sewer. What were you doing down there? Fishing for clues. That's where the clown went. You still insist you saw a clown, monsieur? Of course. And this novelty nose proves it. It will take more than a plastic proboscis to convince Inspector Rousseau. You don't want this as evidence, then? Certainly not, monsieur. Uh, no. Uh, no. Thank God he said that. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? No, monsieur. It's the guy who bombed the cafe. The clown. This man looks nothing like a clown? He's taken off his grease paint and costume. Then there is nothing to link this man with the killing. Nothing? Look at those murderous eyes. Hmm. Hardly likely to get him convicted. Do you recognize this dirty tissue? No, monsieur, I do not. I found it in the sewer. Perhaps it would be better if you put it back there. No way! This could be an important clue. If you say so, monsieur. It's just not bothered. See you later, sergeant. Where is Russo? Where is Russo? Are we ringing? <laughs>